So if you've been doing a fitness program or an exercise program or a therapy program for a number of months and it's just not working, uh, it may be incomplete. And that's not to say that the exercises um, or movement drills or whatever in your current program are not effective or anything like that, but it's just incomplete. Because here's the truth, your brain functions like a GPS, like a global positioning satellite system. And there's three parts to your nervous system. There is sensory input, there is uh, brain integration, and then there is motor output. So basically the brain brings information into your system. Then when it gets into your brain, there's a processing or an integration that happens and decision-making process that happens. And from that decision-making, a motor output is created and that is what produces movement. The problem with most traditional uh, exercise, fitness, uh, therapy programs is that they just focus on motor output. So it doesn't matter how many band, how many chest presses you do, how many squats you do, how many uh, you know how many times you try to lift your foot or wiggle your fingers or whatever it might be. Uh, you could do that all day long, but there's gonna come a point when your brain is just like, I don't know how to do what you're asking me to do. And so what we look at inside the MS Gym or what is, is it, might be a, it might be an input problem, meaning that the input coming in from your eyes, coming in from your vestibular system, coming in from your vagus nerve, coming in from your breathing, coming in from your joint receptors might not be uh, delivering good information because those areas of your body have been affected by your neurologic condition. So it is imperative that you improve the sensory inputs in your brain so that the brain can take in good information and the sensory inputs inside your body, like your vagus nerve, your joint receptors, so that your body can process and know what's going on inside, so that it can send signals to your brain saying, hey man, here's what's going on. The brain can process what's going on and say, hey, I think I know how to fix it. And then the motor output happens and that is where we see movement. So if you are beating your head against the wall trying to figure out why your exercise program, therapy program isn't working, it may not be a motor output problem, it may be a sensory input problem, and I got the solutions for you inside the MS Gym.